talk to you for a moment. I just want to about why, okay? Why? We did this last year. Throughout the year, and people knowing we're going to do it again this year, I had a lot of people ask me, said, why don't y'all take donations? Why don't you ask people to give something when they come? Why don't you charge anything? And so I want to talk about that why for just a couple of minutes if you'll tune in with me. Uh, the why we do not charge anything and do it freely right here. is because we want to express the love of Christ. I don't know, I'm sure many of you are aware here today that the Bible says for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And the Bible says that the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The gift of God is something that has to be received. The Lord did not ask, you and I can't pay for it. The Bible says we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. And the Bible says that our works cannot earn that salvation. So we as a church just felt called that we needed to do this as a gift of love to our community. No strings attached because we want to be able to, to have it as a demonstration of the fact of God's love for each and every one of you and what He did. So we're delighted that we're able to do this. We're delighted that you show up. We're delighted that you get to have fun. And honestly though, the reason we ultimately do it all, the reason I'm a preacher, is because I came to realize one day, without knowing it, that I was a sinner who needed to be a, needed a Savior. And I tell people all the time, I'm a beggar who found bread, the bread of life, Jesus Christ. And we just want to introduce people to the bread of life. You know, the thing is, you're going to eat barbecue and hot dogs today, and you're going to go home, and you're going to be hungry. But there is the eternal bread, Jesus Christ. And, and you know, that, that really is what matters to us, because God loves you. And we hope that, that you today would feel free to come up to any of us that are wearing this shirt, uh, be it a red shirt, be it a blue shirt, and say, hey, can I just talk to somebody about the Lord and what He's done for me? There's a prayer tent over across the way. So I'm not going to stand up here and, and keep preaching to you before we draw. But yet, folk... Life is short. Life is short. And the Bible tells us to be prepared to meet our God. Now, I, I want to ask if you'll hear this for a moment. Up on, as you enter our shelter here, there's a sign that tells you about our services tomorrow. We'll meet under here tomorrow at 1030. And it says basically come join us. But there's something as the pastor of this church that I, that I want you to understand. We're not a church that's about telling people who are active in other churches, you need to come be with us. It's not, you need Jesus, it's not this church you need. But, if you do not have a church home, if you do not have a church home, we welcome you to come be with us and just see if God would have you to be here. I, I can tell you, you need a Savior and you need a church home. Christ, we, we need each other. It's a tough world we live in. We cry together a lot. We laugh together. So, uh, you're thinking, okay, maybe I want to check things further out tomorrow. We'll be here at 1030, going to meet under this shelter, and then we're going down to the swinging bridge down here to baptize some people tomorrow. If you know that you have come to the Lord and have not been baptized and want to do that tomorrow, come and talk to me afterwards. So, again, just thank you so, so much for being here today. Uh, anything we can do to help you, please let us know. And so now I'm through, and we're going to do some giveaways. And uh, again, let, I, I just want one more time, I want to emphasize the fire truck, because they have been so gracious to come. Enjoy everything on this property. If there's something you cannot find, 
uh, let us know that we can help you. I want to express my appreciation uh, to Jerry Clark from the Allegheny Journal for showing up here. And uh, he came down last year as we were closing things out. And thank, thanks to all of our car show people. Hallelujah. We're glad you're here.